what's up beautiful people in this video we will be planting cucumbers on my trellis right so there on my raised bed so let's get to it <laughs> what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. You're back again for another video. And like I said, in this one, we will be planting cucumbers on my trellis, which is in my front yard raised a bed. Now, you can see the net is now off, which I'm excited about seeing how this does as opposed to that one still being on. But nonetheless, we're not here for that. We are here for cucumbers that will be growing on this here trellis, which I have some cucumbers growing in uh, grow bags there on that arch trellis. Boom, 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 right there. Ba -ba 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 -ya. But now, now we are going to do some on this here trellis right to here. Now, I have some cucumbers that I grew from seeds in previous videos. However, I do want to say in planting these bad boys, I will be using a mixture of fertilizer with sustain as well as some worm castings. Simply grow worm castings, which I'll put links down below for both of them because it is vital and necessary for the root system and the overall cucumber plant getting acclimated to its new home, but then as well giving it the nutrients to be able to grow and do what I want it to do, which is grow along on this here trellis which I'm gonna try two on this trellis and then one on that one just to see how the spacing is which if we look at the garden itself it is within a three square foot area so technically I should be able to grow three however I don't know how much trellis space is necessary to be used for these cucumbers because it isn't that high it's probably about four feet so with all that being said I'm gonna plant two here and then we're gonna do what it do and if you are new to the channel hi it's me ricky and please ask if you will subscribe as we are on a quest a goal a mission to have 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and with the help of you we will be able to do so so make sure you stick to the end because i do want to give you a tip in which is necessary to be productive in your cucumber growing let's go all right great people so here is my first cucumber plant that i have grown from seed and had it in a backyard doing what it was needing to do, which the root system looks nice, nice and white, so it means it's still nice, strong, and healthy. So from this point, we're just gonna go ahead and forge a hole necessary for the planting of it. We're gonna go ahead and put that mixture of the worm castings and sustain down in the hole so that it can be nice, prime, and ready for the cucumber. We're gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy in and Technically, I could go ahead and start the trellising process, but I'm not. I'm just going to allow for it to get acclimated to its new home and its new surroundings. And so I'll speak more to that as well. But let me go ahead and plant this second one. Same idea, same concept. Go ahead and forging the hole. Go ahead and putting the fertilizer in there, which is going to be so very beneficial for the root ball system. Just like that, we have both of these bad boys in their new home, which I'm excited about. This one, just have to make sure it knows which way to grow. Because currently it wants to grow away from the trellis, but that's okay. Uh, just a little leading, guiding. will be able to allow for it to go in the direction that I want it to go, which is this way. So let's go to the other one, and then I'll be able to speak to the facts that you all did see, but probably didn't realize. Mm. Okay, great people. So I actually did not plant the cucumber in this here raised bed largely because I have a massive rosemary bush plant situation that I need to go ahead and start harvesting so that I will be able to have space and see what's going on down in the uh, soil level. And so I'll just put it to the side, which you may have saw me do, but nonetheless, it will rest there. But I do have my cucumbers growing and I'm planting, excuse me, it's planting, <laughs> planted in this here raised bed, which is you all may or may not have noticed I did not water the cucumbers as they were then planted until they knew a hole because it is later in the evening and I don't want to perpetuate or start any root rotting system or anything like that any of the diseases I do not want to acclimate them bring it to their raised bed so I'm just gonna let it do what it does I'll put some water in it on tomorrow uh, once the Sun comes out and things like that and so it'll be able to be good to grow and acclimate to its new home from there however don't do it in the evening of day because it will promote diseases and have you to kill essentially what you just planted so go ahead 
keep those things in mind. Make sure you have those things intact so that when you do garden in the evening and things like that, everything is accounted for and protected, okay? Because we do want everything that you garden, you plant to grow the way and the way in which you want it to be and the way you want it to grow, right? Which is well, which is strong, which is healthy so that you can be healthy as you eat it. But nonetheless, great people, here we are. It is done, it is completed. I'm excited to see how this here trellis situation goes and grows. Essentially, it is two by fours with some chicken wire that is in the front of it. And that's the totality of this here trellis. So we're going to see how it does, see how it grows and see if you want to do this in your growing garden area as well. So remember, hey, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that button notification so that you are aware of when future videos of such things as this or future updates of these cucumbers come about and definitely keep you abreast of other growing tricks and ideas for all beginner and first time gardeners. And remember, you never have to garden alone because you can always garden with me. <laughs> I love y'all great people. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Love you. <laughs>